I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agapes Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Um, hmm. Where can I find them? Uh, what am I hoping to learn from them? Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rib, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. Yo, these names, they're crazy. <laughs> Otto Dibble. I think I had a substitute teacher. His name was Mr. Dibble. It was pretty cool. <laughs> he was pretty awesome. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Okay, Hopefully there we by go. By the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Holy, so we have to go all the way around Hogsmeade and interview people, I think. Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Hmm. Why, why would Harlow take your husband and not you? Uh, have you given Harlow any information about Gringotts? Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Hmm. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. You're crazy. Uh, Mrs. Rabe, uh, we do hope you'll reconsider helping us with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a, de a decision on your own, but we're beginning to lose our patience. Uh, we know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in our working together. Uh, shall we expect a response by week's end? Best to keep this between us if you understand our, our meaning. Some Interesting. Worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Hmm. Alright, so there's two more people that we have to uh, uh, interview here. This is crazy. And join Wednesday. This is probably the best Wednesday I've uh, I've had so far. This is insane. I love it. Thank you all for stopping by. I mean, it means the world to me. Please tell me you didn't take it, but perhaps it's been here all along. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you-know-who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. 
I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. Oh, damn. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Hmm. So this guy is like the postman or whatever. How are you hiding the extortion? <laughs> what have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. Hmm. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Support and smiles, 100%, man. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Interesting. So there's one last person that we have to interview. S some of these dialogues can be a little boring. I apologize, but it's just the way that the game flows. But uh, this is all lore. This is all storyline. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. There we go. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. You may have shared Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow as he requested. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. Crazy. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again, but do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Man, Harlow that's insane. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. Okay, here we go. One more person to talk to. Crazy. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hog's Head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Okay. We had to go to a random ass spot for some reason. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. But yeah, there's. It's weird. There was like a few uh, different systems in the game that were announced. Well, not really announced, but like they were being worked on, and then they had to delete these systems. It's like I believe there's an honor system that was being worked on. So like if you did bad things, you would get bad reputation. If you did good things, you get good reputation. There was even a, a curfew system in Hogwarts being worked on. 
And uh, that didn't even make the cut. It's weird. I don't know. It's interesting. That is wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Oh damn. Revelio. Okay. In through here. Uh oh. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> uh oh. So she was taken out back. Oh no. Must Into the cellar. I need to find her quickly. Okay, here we go. We have to save our friend. So now this is where it gets a little spicy. A little spicy. Okay. Uh, Accio. And Accio. The hidden door. Oh. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Oh, damn. So we have to find a few things here. Find Natty. And then find their lo their poems and books and stuff. Interesting. Okay, so is go sneaky mode. Let's be a little sneaky snake. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, it's quite a few people in here. Okay. Lots and guards can't stop me. I'm just trying to Everyone think on where to go here. When they see me come, and rightfully so. Frick, man. Oh my god. You want I've raided Brockborough more times than I can count. There we go. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, we you, we got his uh, letter. You were as dear to me as an uh, an augure. Uh, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Whose voice foretells the coming rain. You're as loved by me as a crop could be. Whose loyalty is true and plain. You have ca you have a cast uh, you have cast a spell over my heart. I want it not undone. You've charmed me, you've charmed me from the very start. You have always been the one. Aw. The book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this. That's kind of sweet. Okay. Uh. Hello. Oh. There we go. Ooh. Get wrecked. There we go. Spelliarmus. Nice. Got him. Oh my god. We're so good at this game. <laughs> okay. There we go. Bitch. Nice. Oh my gosh. Uh. Livioso. Lombarda. Oh my god. Nice. Oh my god, we got them all. There we go. <laughs> I knew it was going to be a, a fight right there. That was fire. I love it. That was awesome. Okay, so what is this? Ooh. Some legendary uh, outfit item. So what else is in here? Huh. Few things. Interesting. Ooh, oh, we found his um his letter. My darling Otto, I have read your last letter over and over, and I'm and I'm certain to read it, read it again, each hour until we are able to meet. Uh, I dread the notion that I will not see you soon, but I am not without hope. I long for the day that our engagement can be shared with those whom we love, especially my dear father. I do not wonder at uh. 
you're want you wanting to wait until you are more settled. Sorry, my freaking brain is just not braining right now. That you're you're wanting to wait until you are more settled, my love. And I know that you are doing all you can to ensure that you that such a situation is within your grasp. Please allow me to say that these past months of being unable to share publicly the feelings which exalt me to the utmost pinnacle of happiness have been an existential challenge indeed. And now I am off to read your letter once more. Yours affectionately, Rosie. Okay, my brain did not brain during reading that letter. <laughs> oh, man. That is crazy. Okay, so we just got everything there. All the optional stuff. Big W. Uh, ooh. Another chest in here. More gold. Big dubs. Matty must be here somewhere. You found us. I knew you would realize I had left my one. Oh, there's a chest here. There we go. Lock picked it. So what did we get? Ooh, we got a wand. Ready to help. Uh, hold the phone. Collect. Oh my. Hey, who's this guy? Who the fuck is that guy? Mr. Rabe, Daisy told me you've been abducted. She spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Oh, it's the it's the person who worked. Oh my God! Excuse me. Uh, it's the person who works at um, Gringotts. There, uh, it's it's his. Um, That's his wife that we talked to earlier. Aha! Uh -huh. That's pretty neat. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Hell yeah. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. True. Okay, let's get through here. Oh my goodness. Okay, do we go through here? I don't even know. Probably. Interesting. This is quite the place. More gold? You'll love to see it. <laughs> Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. There we go. Not Officer Singer? Oh, I. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. <laughs> Sorry, that second uh, option is hilarious. Yes, officer. 
Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. W, man. That relic is the key to saving Anne. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcroft as soon as you can. Hmm. Sebastian, a lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's spellbook. <sighs> Very well. If Ominous will be there, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian, I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-reference Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. Uh, this is more complicated than we thought. Oh, yeah. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice. Seems risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. And we'll only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, we could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Uh, might your uncle report us to the ministry? Yeah, definitely can. Do you think your uncle would tell anyone at the ministry about all of this if he found out? If he found out, I doubt he'd go to the ministry. He didn't part ways with them well from what I understand. He won't say, but I believe his strong aversion to dark magic has something to do with his time there. Anne thinks he once decided to fight fire with fire, so to speak, and resorted to using an unforgivable curse and fight against dark wizards. At least that's what she thought she heard. When he realized what his job had led him to become, he left rather abruptly. So, I'm not sure he'd go to the Ministry to report on his own family using dark magic now. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. Oh man. See you soon. <laughs> so we have to wait for um, an owl post and we'll be able to go through and do a dark arts uh, quest there. That is crazy. Holy. So what do we have? I know we have a ton of gear, like a literal metric ton of gear here. Uh, what do we have? Uh, nothing much. Nothing much. I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. It doesn't work like that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh, either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. Of course I do. Of course I care, Sebastian. We've come this far. Don't let your frustration get the better of you. Fine. I'll defer to your keeper friends. For now. But I don't like it. We don't have a choice. Now, should we see why the triptych led us here? That is fair enough. Let's go, quickly, before we're spotted. 
Okay, so do we go up here? Oh, we can't use our broom. You gotta be kidding me. Just ahead. Oof. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables, but it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Okay, let's keep going. Travel up the switchbacks. I'm guessing this is what the mountains are called. I don't even know. I'm kind of confused, but we we do it. Nice. There we go. We are smooth with it. Nice. Got him. Hell yeah, man. Ooh. A few things here. There's some gold. Nice. All right, let's keep going. Thestrals overhead. Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. Interesting. I know that. All right. I'm making small talk. I'm not going to trek up this mountain in silence. That's fair enough. <laughs> I would do the same thing. I'd be talking the entire way. Okay. Ooh, what is this? What? what huh? It's like a threshold or something. Do you see that? It's like a wall of something. I don't even know. That's that's pretty wild. <laughs> this is insane. Okay, we're almost there. I bet the Thestral nest is close by. Probably. There we go. Yeah, there's the nest right there. Interesting. Huh. Oh, whoa. Those are different kinds of Thestrals. That's I'm like a black one and a blue one. It's certainly not something I'd hoped we'd have in common. Interesting. Okay. Kill any who trespass. Wait, we should have some sort of plan. I'm through planning. Nope. All right, let's do this. Noise, Bombarda. Ain't no way. Okay. Noise. There we go. Oh, we dodged that. Use ancient magic. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Oh my god, get obliterated, man. Oh my god. That is they crazy. Yo, we just wrecked the shit out of them. <laughs> I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed, but I didn't. That's fair. Looks like Branrock's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. Okay. We're in too deep. Let's just keep going. Oh boy. Ramrock's gonna make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that goblin? <laughs> repository. Ridiculous notions of ownership. So, how do we get up this? 
Uh, hello? There we go. There we go. Do some climbing. Nice. Oh my goodness. Uh, can you let me get up here? There we are. <laughs> Got him. Ranrock's loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Okay, there we go. Holy moly. So the vibes are absolutely vibing. I really am enjoying this game so much and uh, all your vibes in the stream. Thank you all so much for stopping by. It literally means the world to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Okay. Come over here. <laughs> Same vibes. Sebastian, wait, wait. For what? Uh, why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen to me. I know you're angry and frustrated, but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord Gok said, Oh, your goblin friend. Stop it. That's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing. To find answers. I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me, or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And I have been for a while. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. So far, so good. But it definitely is a W stream. Spiders. How fitting. Okay. Oh my god. Noise. Got him. Holy dude. Oh my god. There's a dead goblin in here. Nice. Oh my. A big mama. Oh. Okay, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Use a mandrake. Thank you. Expect to patron him. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. A W patronum. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> there we go. Man, once you get into potions and doing like the side stuff, it's ridiculous how much it'll help you. It's insane. GG. <laughs> These spiders are determined to make a meal of us. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin dinner. There we go. Bombarda. Oh, what is down here? A staircase leading here. Whatever for. I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Oh, hold up. Uh, what spell is it? Incendio. Incendio. 
There we go. And then we bring that back. Okay. Is there a spider near us? I don't even know. I can't wait to get my tax refund and might get this game in another one. Hell yeah. I love that for you. Yeah, this game is honestly so much fun. Look at this place. Not really my style. A bit much if you ask me. Oh my god. Noise. There we go. We're just throwing shit at people. <laughs> Bombarda? Oh my god, I didn't even realize how many spiders there were. Accio? Nice. Oh, oh my god, we're going crazy. Oh! Two big mamas. Hey, yo. Ancient magic. Nice. Throw shit. Nice. Hell yeah. Let's keep going. Nice. W. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Can't have been the only challenge. Perhaps we should search for runes. There we go. I think that was a flawless fight right there. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty wild. Okay. Incendio. I have to keep on switching uh, spells. There we go. Uh, maybe not. Where's the? Oh, there it is. Get out of here quick there we go. So I think this is a trial that we have to go through. Oh yeah. If they're giving me health potions, I already know this is gonna be crazy. I'm completely full on health potions. Thank God. Oh, oh, big Albert over here coming in hot. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, here we go. Nice. Ancient magic. Boom. Oh, my God. Wow, we almost killed him. There we go. <laughs> Holy. Nice. Dude, throwing stuff at, at spiders is so fun. So much fun. Nice. Wow. Oh, we just got two and one there. <laughs> Nothing like an angry troll to bring friends together. That is insane. That was amazing. We just demolished them. Holy. All right, let's keep going. Holy moly. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm guessing we have to use Reparo. Aha. Uh -huh. Very nice. Okay. Oh, it's one of these. Um, to, oh God, a big ass letter. Such joy. I felt helping my father after all these years to hear his voice again. I cannot begin to describe how much I missed it. I confess I was wholly stunned by the keeper's reaction. I should have expected it. How can they stand by and do nothing when they have the power to do so much good? 
Who is Professor Rackham to tell me what I can and cannot do with my ability? The audacity of all of them judging my work without any real understanding of all that I've accomplished. That's actually fair enough, that's valid. I do have some hope. The headmistress seemed somehow to understand what I was doing. When the time is right, I shall go to her. She may be able to uh, and willing to help. Until I know otherwise, I must continue my work alone for now. Uh, but I will find someone to help me. I will find someone else who understands the gift that I have been given and our obligation to use it. I will store what I, l I learned safely away from the moment. for the moment. Uh, one day I will be able to share it with another who is like me. Oh, interesting. A journal entry. Isadora was here. Hmm. So there's Wingardium Leviosa. And then Levioso. W. Nice. Literally perfect. Oh god, there's like two different ways to go. Ugh. Uh, let's go this way. Unless it just goes to the same entrance. Oh, it does. Okay. I'm out of breath <laughs> after all of those stairs. But the view. Well worth it. True. Oh god. I guess we go the other way. This is insane. More gold. Another barrier. We can blast through it. I'm certain. Okay. Oh, another letter I have to read. I feel more and more capable each day, and my sense of purpose, knowing that what I am doing is precisely what I was meant to do, has never been clearer. The number of souls I have been able to help grows by the day. So much pain. And I have discovered that this magic itself somehow confirms that what I am doing is right. Each time I breathe in the haze, even a little, it's as though I become more capable. I am being rewarded for my courage, rewarded for using this magic the way that it was meant to be used. I fear, however, that I must find a way to store what I cannot use in the moment. I do not yet understand its power and do not want to leave it to chance. I have an idea. It is not without risk, but I feel that the risk is worth it. Interesting. Good news. This journal entry sounds worrisome. Hmm. So I'm guessing Bombarda. There we go. as good as if I'd done it myself. W man. This place can't have belonged to only Isadora. But the trip to pointed us here. Yeah, there's no way. Okay, so that's two. Where's the third one? Guessing the third one's over here. Another rune symbol. Rebellion. As if I should be fluent in runic language by now. Huh. Oh, the third one's through here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Did we get it? We got it. <laughs> Big brain. Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. Is this our journal entry? How could I have been so terribly wrong? The headmistress won't help me. I tried to make her understand. She, like the others, is blind to the possibilities of what I can do. I have come to learn that I can rely on no one. But I am more powerful. I am a more powerful witch than I have ever been, and I know that is due to the working uh, to the work I'm doing. I shall not allow my magic to lie dormant, as the keepers do. H how I despise that ridiculous name, as if keeping power all the to themselves is something to be lauded. I confess I have begun to wonder if I will ever find another in my lifetime with whom I can share this work. If I do not, then I shall find solace in the knowledge that I have left them a trail to follow, a path from which they can learn. Perhaps they will do what I cannot, heal the world. Interesting. Healing the world. Rebellion. Damn. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. Very interesting. Okay, so there's another map. The Pick up. Canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Hmm. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. 
But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. Perhaps completing the triptych will shed more light on all of this. Interesting. Use the magic passageway. Oh my gosh. Here we go. So that's not even finishing the... Oh, maybe it is the ending of the trial. Maybe. We'll see. That might be it. I have no idea. That was a crazy-ass quest. Oh my god. I cannot believe the journey this triptych took us on. Here we go. This is it. Don't keep me in suspense. Go on. Place it. Whoa. Oh, pensive. Another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. I wonder. What is it? Let's find out. Oh, boy. I cannot bring my brother back, father, but I can give you peace. Please have a seat. So these are all the keepers, I'm guessing. We are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. It did indeed. Of course it did. It's goblin silver. I need something much bigger. All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. Left over from a spell I devised to remove pain, but if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this unnerves them. Oh, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. Someone will be. Hmm. So I'm guessing that's what Ranrock is wielding, is this, all this pain. She took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I, I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroff, the destroyed painting, it was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but we found the memory. 
Yes. Yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain, it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care, if at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Hmm. I don't know about this. Please. Talk to the keepers. If not for me, then for Anne. Why did the Keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait? Wow, quest complete. Holy moly, what a freaking mission that was.